All right, last game, Metal Fighter, which technically isn't a Call of Dreams game by nature, and no, it's not a Bunch Games game either, but rather a game developed by Joy Van Games and published by Call of Dreams in the US, and such and everywhere else. So, is it really that fair to call us a Call of Dreams game per se? Yeah, it fits a criteria, what with the cheap baby blue plastic, but as far as Color Dreams themselves are concerned, they made pretty much no differences to the game itself. So Metal Fighter, at its core, is a shooter, but with a few extra game mechanics that can either help it or kill it, depending on your preference. Frankly, I totally get it both ways. The mechanics mainly center around the power-up system in the game, which, in my opinion, works wonders towards the game's favor. It goes something like this. With the exception of the flight power-up, which yes, is a thing for some reason, whenever you try to grab a power-up, rather than the game simply giving it to you, it teleports you to a mini-boss of sorts where, if you kill the boss, you are granted with not only the power-up in mind, but also an extra hit point, which yes, are also a thing. So considering Metal Fighter's huge departure from a system like in Gradius or Alpha Mission, why do we think that this system is a good thing? Well, for starters, this system keeps you from grabbing just one ridiculously overpowered power-up and just keeping it throughout the whole game. Sure, that aforementioned power-up may keep you from getting hit very much, but sooner or later, you're gonna get down to just one or two hits. It's the way the game is designed, and grabbing another power-up is literally the only way to get hit points back. It allows the player to experiment with what they have and take risks, which, in my opinion, are two of the biggest selling points for a shooter. The system also forces you to generally get good at the game rather than having the power-ups do it all for you. Now, with all that said, do I find Metal Fighter to be a perfect game? No, not really. It suffers a lot from certain enemies being way too overpowered, the bosses are either a complete joke or require exploits to even have a chance, if you die in some of the later stages, you're kinda screwed for actually beating it, no thanks to the in-game checkpoints. The sound, while definitely better than in Silent Assault, still has a lot to be desired, and the ending, again, is complete garbage. But I still genuinely like this game. Metal Fighter, honestly, is probably the best Color Dreams game I've played, and I don't mean that in a comparative way either. As in, it's actually decent by real NES game standards. Its graphics aren't lackluster, its music doesn't make me want to kill myself! There are sound effects this time! And the controls aren't the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life! So, if I were to summarize my overall honest opinions about this game into one sentence, it'd probably be this. It's a real... game.